What is up, Gulf Coasters? Um, I just got back to the house, got cleaned up from an awesome day of fishing with my family. Uh, we went out this morning and searched for a pompano, um, and my little sister, she is five years old, caught her first pompano today. It was 13 and a half inches to the fork. Uh, so that's an, that's an extremely awesome accomplishment that she had, and uh, I was so excited to be a part of it. Um, <clears throat> but today, this video is going to be a catch and cook on how I prepare and cook these pompano. They, they are absolutely delicious. Um, I do have a secret ingredient for you guys, so y'all stay tuned, and uh, we're going to get started. thing you're going to need is a extremely sharp uh, fillet knife uh, this is a buck 136 um, go and check them out um, I do want to let y'all know about these pompano that now that you've seen how to clean them and all that stuff uh, right here on the in the middle of these pompano where this bloodline is all right so what we're gonna do is right in this bloodline of these pompano there are a couple of little bones so we're gonna kind of cut a V into this pompano and we're going to get these bones out of it so that you're not going to eat your pompano and you happen to get a bone in your mouth because nobody likes that. Um, but like I said, you just cut a very small bee so you're not wasting a lot of meat and stuff like that and that will get these little bones out of that for you. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and get these over. To, uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and trim these tails up too because we don't want that little bit of tail meat there. We can go ahead and get rid of that and we're gonna move them over to the plate. Alrighty y'all, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna very lightly uh, get that on the fish and then we're gonna rub this olive oil in and what this olive oil is, is designed to do is it's gonna help all these fantastic ingredients that we got really stick to this filet and it also helps with the final sear of this filet. Alrighty y'all, so the first ingredient that we have is a Himalayan pink salt and we're going to be extremely light with these salts. Uh, we're just going to kind of hold it up and almost mist it just like that. That's all you want. You do not want to put a lot of salt on these. Uh, next we got a black pepper um, and we're going to do the same thing with it. Just a real light coating just like this. <clears throat> um, then we'll go ahead and go to the garlic and we're also going to be extremely light with this garlic. Uh, just because we, these are going to be lemon pepper pompano, so that's uh, that's kind of what you want to go for. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this lemon pepper on there. This ingredient you are going to kind of be a little heavy-handed, but not not insane. Um, but when this stuff sears up on this pompano, y'all, it is absolutely phenomenal. There's there's not a better tasting fish out there with this on there. Alrighty y'all, so the next ingredient, you're going to take a fresh uh, lemon. Um, there is a trick to these. If you go ahead and roll these lemons, that'll help get all that juice and stuff like that uh, ready to rock and roll. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut both of the ends off of this lemon, just like this. Uh, and we're going to want six very thin slices, pretty much as thin as you can possibly get them. Uh, and we're going to lay these across our pompano. And then we're going to use that other half of the lemon to uh, squeeze on our, on our pompano. Alrighty y'all, so these lemons are actually, they're going to be for the grilling process once we move them to the grill. Uh, but the special ingredient that I put on my pompano that really gives them a, a very nice flavor. Everybody uses lemon pepper, but th this, um, this is fresh grown rosemary straight from our garden. Uh, but we're going to just sprinkle a little tiny bit of this rosemary onto these pompano fillets and I promise you guys this is this is going to give it the kick that you've been looking for uh, but um, this is how your pompano fillets should look before you even take them to the grill and they are going to be absolutely phenomenal guys uh, but now we're going to go ahead and move to the grill and get them cooking alrighty y'all if you are looking for a phenomenal side item to go with these pompano um, we have some fresh potatoes here with uh, 
rosemary, um, olive oil, uh, a little bit of butter, and when we get done, we're going to top them with a little bit of Parmesan. Guys, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, another thing that we're going to do is uh, we have some fresh asparagus here. And this asparagus literally just has garlic powder and a little bit of olive oil on it. And what we're going to do is while we're cooking these pompano, this, uh, this asparagus is going to go on the grill also. And it tastes absolutely phenomenal. Alrighty y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these beautiful pompano fillets that have been uh, soaking in this seasoning for probably 20 minutes. Uh, and we're just going to lay them skin side down on the grill. And what this is going to do is it's going to give that meat a real nice uh, uh, a crunch to it almost. Not really a crunch, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be phenomenal. Um, we're going to let these sit for probably two to three minutes and let them get a super nice sear on them. Uh, and then we're going to flip them skin side up and set them up on this top rack with the uh, asparagus that we're going to have for them. Um, and once they're up top, uh, I'll show you guys how we're going to position these lemons and get these lemons involved and stuff like that. Uh, so y'all stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so now we have these, uh, the pompano, they have a very beautiful sear on them. Uh, it's going give to them, give them just a phenomenal crisp taste to them. Uh, but now we're going to take these, these lemons and uh, we're going to lay them on top of our pompano like just just like so um, and then what we're gonna do when we get done with this is we're gonna take this lemon here and we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of juice across these and um, this this rosemary and these fresh lemons are gonna give this pompano a very complex taste uh, they're gonna be absolutely phenomenal we're gonna let these guys sit up here for probably five to ten minutes uh, something like that and then we'll pull them off and uh, they should be great y'all already y'all so now we are gonna close the lid of this grill and uh, shut all the holes up and everything like that so that these pompano can absorb all this smoke and uh, really really get this meat nice moist and uh and it, it, guys it's it's gonna be phenomenal uh, but like I said we're gonna go ahead and close those and just let them absorb that smoke and uh, like I said about five to ten minutes so I'm gonna pull them off between about, about probably about seven minutes I'll pull them off and uh, they, they should be cooked really really good um, so y'all stay tuned for the final product. Alrighty y'all so the way you know that this pompano is done uh, this skin and the edges kind of start separating and the, the skin will kind of start curling down and they'll have a real nice look to them uh, so we'll go ahead and pull these off and um, like, like I said guys cook this for probably about five to ten minutes just depending on how hot your grill is and guys this, this looks absolutely phenomenal look at this that looks phenomenal um, but now we're gonna go inside and give it a taste and see how it turned out already y'all so after a hard day fishing uh, everybody likes to drink a cold beer that's what I do and um, we're gonna try this pompano out guys if this pompano is cooked correctly it will just peel off this meat kind of take your fork at an angle and um, it'll just fall right off of it. Oh my goodness, y'all. That lemon pepper and that rosemary just, that rosemary gives this thing an absolutely incredible taste, y'all. You have got to try this out. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and finish, uh, finish my dinner after a long day of fishing. Um, y'all hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing a charter giveaway with Captain James and a Latte Fun Fishing, and we're gonna go get on some fish together. Uh, but y'all keep coasting, I'm about to dig in.